Yo, what is up, guys? It's Switch here. Bring you guys a quick tour on how to make a chain link in Cinema 4D. This is a really cool little uh, add on effect you can use in your logos and just wrap it around your logo, wrap it around your text for your background. Really nice effect. You've probably seen it already, and uh, I'm sure you guys had to make it. So, uh, yeah, I showed you my example. It's probably a bad example, but uh, yeah, you can see what I try to do. I try to wrap my chain around my logo, and it's a really cool, really sick little effect. You can use it all the way around your logo, wrap it around, do whatever. It looks really sick if you put your time in it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So right now you're going to need the rectangle from this box. So uh, right from your right of your solid shapes, you want to go to this box right here and click on your rectangle. Uh, once you do that, you want to change your plane from XY to XZ. And uh, you want to go ahead and click on the rounding tool, uh, rounding box. And uh, you want to change your radius from 50 to about 55. And then you want to go ahead and change your height to about 400 to 300. And change your width to 344. And uh, that will come into effect later. Uh, you want to go ahead and get uh, a circle from where you got your rectangle. So right here, I'm going to go to your circle and change your radius from 200 to about 90. And then right now, you just want to just, this is already it. You're already done. So you want to go ahead and click on your extrude nerves box or your nerves box and go to your sweep nerves and change your, uh, put your circle and your rectangle inside the sweep nerves. And uh, yeah, this is where the chain link effect is coming into play. You want to go ahead and go to your circle and change your radius a little bit more. Uh, this is what's giving that bold effect, so you want to put it probably about 50, or uh, change this to about 55 also, maybe lower, it just depends on your uh, feel. And then you want to just change your radius uh, for your um, rounding of your rectangle if you want to put more round in it. So about 75 looks good also, so uh, yeah, you can change up your settings, whatever, and uh, your width and height settings, so uh, to your liking. Also, to make the chain link effect, make it look like it's like more than just one link, you want to go ahead and just press Control C, Control V on your sweep nerves that you just did, and you just want to drag it out. And you want to take your rotating tool, and you just want to like rotate it 90 degrees, and then you get your little effect that you can start keep on going. So want to keep on press Control C, Control V, doing this again, and uh, taking your rotating tool and rotating it again, and that's a really cool simple effect, and uh, it's really visible for uh when you use it in the uh, use it as like wrapping around a logo or something it's a really nice uh, nice effect and uh, now you guys can go ahead and do it so uh yeah hopefully this helped you out and gave you something to do except for uh being bland and before d and only doing the same thing you can go ahead and practice with this and do whatever you want maybe you can figure out something else besides change you can do uh yeah so uh hopefully you guys understand this and hopefully i gave you guys an idea and uh something to do so uh yeah i'll see you guys next time so switch you out peace